Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for inviting me to speak. My special thanks go to this young lady, Eve, for all her hard work uh, in organizing today and so many in the past. And of course, to the rest of the Healing Save Our NHS team of amazing volunteers. Before I begin, though I would like to express my shock and sadness at the Russian invasion of Ukraine, I hope we can all take a moment of silence in solidarity with the people of Ukraine and those protesting against the war in Russia. The brave protest is not allowed in Russia, as today we are using our freedom of protest. We are gathered here in love of our NHS. It is one of the institutions that makes so many of us proud of our country. It is a bastion of equality, free 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for everyone and anyone who needs care. That is why the Tories hate it. That is why Healing Hospital and the NHS across the country has suffered 12 years of underfunding and mismanagement. It does not make a profit. It does not let you jump a queue because you can pay. So Boris Johnson does not understand it. Let us be clear. The NHS has saved millions of lives through the pandemic. It has been taken past breaking point and yet day after day the heroic men and women that work in the NHS have kept it going. Ladies and gentlemen, the issues we see today are the, not the fault of the NHS for mismanagement. They are not the fault of exhausted nurses, doctors and porters. They come from a political decision to understand the NHS. We have said no. We have said no before. And we will say no again. When they tried to close the healing hospital, it was the people here who stopped them. When the government tried to implement shaping a healthier, which Umbar mentioned, a healthier future, it was the people here who stopped them. The NHS will have life for us as long as we fight for it. As the MP for this hospital and for thousands of people who rely on it, I pledge to support our NHS, support the people who work in it, and support the people who need it across Ealing, in Parliament, and in all my working life. Please support NHS. Thank you. Thanks, Brenda.